What's going on, guys? It's gonna be a great weekend. We got the injectors for our car. Hopefully that fixes the tow truck. We got the injectors for the tow truck. We had an off-brand and they didn't really work too well, so we got some Boshes. But we got uh, another set of injectors here for the Fox. So we're gonna get them thrown in and we're gonna toss them in there and hopefully it fixes our issue. My kiddo wants to be a detailer, so he's practicing. He out here working. He got to earn his keep. Right? Right? Right, buddy? I didn't hear what you said. I said you got to earn your keep, so I'm oh. slave driving you. Yeah. No, he wants to do... Dude, was someone clapping? It sounds like some butt cheeks clapping over there. <laughs> anyway, he wants to do a detail business, so he's practicing up. We got a big fuel filter we're going to get installed on this bad boy, and... Get these things in. Getting our fuel filters serviced up here. Uh, our filter after the pump here, we have been running no element in it uh, because it was kind of a restriction. The body was a little too small. So, you the guy she told you not to worry about. We're going to upgrade that unit to that unit from ATF. So the new ATF filter before the pump is actually a little bit bigger than the previous one we had before that. And then of course the one after the pump is about twice the size. Man, I wish I could get... I wish I could do something to make me twice the size. Well, gotta take a road trip to Summit because we need some fittings. Basically we need these two fittings combined into one. So, road trip to a race car shop. It's like an hour and a half, or an hour and, it's like two hours away, actually. Puppy dog! What are you doing? Change of plans. We're gonna go to the shop, grab one of our Dash 12 filters, because they should be a little bigger than what we got. And hopefully that works. And then we won't be super close to the tire. And yeah, so, and we don't have to drive to Dallas and back. Saves us four hours, four and a half hours of driving. So, hopefully it works. Like six. Oh, we can just glide around on a wheelie. Yeah, that was not even barely a wheelie. Uh -huh. You're not you even barely. That, you gotta get that center point. <laughs> you trying to get gapped, bro? drive all the way to Dallas two hours there two hours back just to get a fitting to run the filter that we have over there so I remembered we got some bigger bodied ones in at work at snow performance so uh, I'm gonna rock this guy for a little bit until I get the fitting in to make that one work cuz if we've been making it work with this one this is bigger bigger is better right so we'll use this guy for now Ooh. Ah. Big filter. Yeah. Uh, we got the injectors in. Pressure tested everything, so we're good there. Put the slicks back on this old girl after we did a little gender review. Ugh. Use your muscles, boy. The other one came out right away. This one's a little different. A little harder. They're a little harder to come out on street tires. Look at four nuts. Ooh, you got it. The real small tire. 28.75. Oh, he's over at the freaking neighbor's house. We rode our little scooter over his. Look at this freaking race car. Oh, he's got, he's got a freaking Pro Mod 
He's got five lugs. He's got to be a pro mod. Oh, look at that shifter right there. Yep, definitely a pro mod. It's a pro Still got a fucking back seat. It's a pro mod. Still got a back seat. It's a... Still got blinkers, hazards. Ooh, we can take a nap back there. Oh, oh man, look at Oh, easy, 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 easy on the door pins. Hey, buddy. All weight still there. Look at your drive shaft, bro. That motherfucker is a little long. You gonna get that thing shortened? Need all the length. <laughs> yep. Definitely a pro mod. Freaking look at smart coils, freaking intercooler stuff. Nitrous. Pro mod. Stainless braided coolant lines with AM fittings. Oh definitely electric water pump dude? Pro mod. It's not even a streetcar anymore, it's pro mod. It's got electric water pump. I'll drop the track and get your ass. She'll do nothing. Okay, injector swap, fuel filter swap. Next day, trailer hooked up. Still got loaner truck. Ah! But we got parts for the truck, so hopefully this week we'll be good. Anyway, we're gonna head to Yellow Belly again, see if we can test this old girl, and hopefully the injectors fix this problem. So, fingers crossed. We changed our mind again. We changed our mind a significant amount of time. So we're gonna go with those guys because there's a whole bunch of them going to test in Kona. Not as good of a surface as Yellow Belly, but it'll still be fine. I think I still should be able to see if we fix the issue or not. Unload the car real quick because we're gonna be in the golf cart. That way the kiddos have something to goof around on, right? Yep. Hey! I said that you weren't gonna be able to figure it out because it's dummy lock. Don't be the kettle calling the pot or the pot calling the kettle. In there, kind of dirt road ready. turn her up give her a little power we'll see if it still does it I'm kind of thinking it's going to hey pull the choke pull the choke choke that mother
moment of truth. We're gonna see if she's still a piece of crap or not. She goes down on lower boost, just like she did at Yellow Belly. So we gave her more boost. She gave you more boost, boys, and we're gonna see if she or not. Okay. Okay. Race doggy. Hi, race doggy. What are you doing? Whoa, that's meth. Get out of there. You're gonna turn into a crackhead. Hey, you have crackhead speed. Stop. Get back here. in clutch with a hairspray so we could get the gasket put back in there. <laughs> so that was good. But she's still a piece of shit. Into this block thing. <laughs> You'll fix it. Well, we're gonna put her back in the box. She's still fat. Oh well. Go ahead. Sticker slapped the golf cart a little more. Yeah, we did. You guys got any stickers? Send them my way. I'm trying to cover this whole thing so it looks like we wrapped the golf cart in stickers. <laughs> Send me your stickers so we can slap them on here. Well, back to the drawing board. Uh, new injectors, new coils, coil harness, battery, et cetera, et cetera. It's not fixing it. What I think might be is uh, when we had the heads done, uh, we did new valves. I didn't re-measure the push rods when we put it back together. And it does have the Johnson Short Travel lifters in it. We're gonna check valve springs and we're gonna check push rods next. So hopefully, hopefully we find something there. And we can get this motherfucker back to putting in work anyway thank you guys for watching as always like subscribe and share